Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Love travels in a circle. Once love flows into a welcoming circle, it grows and expands from the experience of not just feel love, but most of all from the experience of giving love. Yes, there are two often forms of selfish love, or fake love, but love travels in circles and it always comes back to those who have sent love out to share with others. Sharing love is when love lives more clearly in the light of day. On the other hand, selfish or fake love lives in fear and darkness. The truest beauty of true love, is that the best way to heal not only the one who is wounded but also the one who is healing. True love flows in a circle, so the love that is sent out to others, will eventually return to the sender. In other words, the light of true love can pierce the darkness of sorrow, selfishness, and pain. True love shines like the Sunday. And, when one lives within that love, their light will pierce their deepest darkness. We would like to say that all those who live in love would not experience pain, harm, or disappointment, but we cannot. Gaia is a learning planet, and many souls take an embodiment on Gaia to learn about love. Many have learned about love, and many have not. But now the inhabitants of Gaia have a great challenge. Those who are only able to love money and things have done great damage to beloved Gaia. Therefore, those who can love are being called on to send their love to Gaia. However, this love that they send to Gaia cannot be passive love. The love that humanity is called on to send to Gaia is active love, which is based on each human member of Gaia as most, if not all, the damage to Gaia was initiated in some manner via humans, is called on to discover the manner in which each and every human has gone inside to find the manner that they said they would assist Gaia before they took their present incarnation. This assistance for Gaia is based on the same unconditional love that Gaia has sent to humanity. It is the now for humanity to think about Gaia first. After all, would it be worse for humanity than to experience the destruction of their home planet? If one just looks at how many disasters have occurred on Gaia over just one human lifetime. We galactics have chosen, at great sacrifice, to take a human earth vessel in hopes that somehow we can influence humanity to put Mother Earth first. After all, if Earth becomes uninhabitable, where would they put their fancy houses? their expensive toys, fancy cars, and huge boats. All these human toys are harming Gaia in more ways that humans wish to know. But, the longer it takes for humans to face the truth, the more difficult it will be for humans to heal the planet that they have been harming. If humans do not heal Gaia, where will they put their fancy houses, their huge cars and their fast boats? We. The members of your galactic family are here now to awaken you to your multidimensional memory, so that you can remember, who you are within your multidimensional self what you promised to do for Gaia in your present incarnation WHY you chose to make that particular promise what you will focus your service to Gaia when will you remember that you must start your service now. We are the members of your galactic family are reminding you to remind others that if they wish to save their planet the time is now the sun represents that which you perceive more clearly in the light of day. With the light of day meaning that which you can easily perceive as it is lit up above or before us. Therefore, it represents that which you have chosen to perceive with your conscious mind. On the other hand, the moon reflects the circle of light in the darkness of the night. This circle of light is that which you have within your inner consciousness, that is often hidden in your unconscious mind. By unconscious mind, we mean the memories, experiences and knowing that you have consciously, or unconsciously, chosen to hide from your daily life. When you are ready to perceive that which you have chosen to hide from your conscious memory, you will be able to allow your inner self to communicate with your outer self. You all have inner and outer expressions of physical self, as well as within your non-physical consciousness. However, whether your consciousness is shining before you as in the light of day, or hiding inside the inner shadows of your unconscious self, your consciousness your state of consciousness will affect your daily life in the daytime and your inner life during sleep or deep meditation. In fact, 
it is via deep meditation while in your daily life or within your dream life that your consciousness can communicate with your physical self. If you choose to call in greater information about yourself, your goals and any inner guidance you desire, you will need to go inside yourself to find the answers. Yes, it is true that conversing with family, friends and or or a therapist can assist you to see that which you have consciously or unconsciously hidden from your daily, waking self. However, these secrets from yourself will eventually arise in your daily life, your choices and your friends or family. There are some who never share their inner self with others, but that creates very deep loneliness. This loneliness is because you have isolated who you think you are from others. We say, who you think you are because when you open to the light of yourself, you will no longer need to find yourself by reflecting off of others. In other words, you will no longer need to pull attention or needs from others, as you have opened up, at least some of your inner secrets to your own self. When one is able to be honest with themselves by allowing their inner light to shine on them, their secrets are no longer secret from themselves. When you are able to put the light onto your own secrets from yourself you will no longer feel a sense of fear that they will find out. In fact, it is more likely that they will find out when you do keep secrets that you are afraid to share. We say afraid to share in that you do not want to accidentally share something that you did not want to share. When this happens, you may feel embarrassed, ashamed or sad. It is obvious why you may feel ashamed or sad, but why would you feel embarrassed? The answer is that you have not come to peace with this part of you, so you may even feel ashamed. We, your galactic family, want you all to know that all of you have higher dimensional expressions of yourself who resides in the higher dimensional worlds and or or starships. Most of you chose to forget your galactic self when you took an earth vessel to assist Gaia, or to clear some old karma you are ready to release. Therefore, the decision to take a third dimensional form is a sign of your own inner strength. Just as you may look from a mountain top down into the valley below, your higher dimensional self can look down into the fourth and third dimensional school rooms. We say school rooms because you would only chose to incarnate on poor suffering Gaia within this now if you wanted to release some old karma or because you wanted to assist Gaia with her monumental mission of ascending an entire planet from the third dimensional frequency of reality into the fifth dimensional frequency of reality. If you are reading this message, it is likely that you are among those who have chosen to leave your home world in the fifth dimension and beyond to come to Gaia to assist her with the great challenge of releasing the Dark Ones, Illuminati, and awakening the humans. The problem is that the Illuminati use those humans who live in daily fear and or or lack of love for their home planet as their helpers, to keep Gaia in a state of constant damage and or or danger of planetary destruction.